What's up everybody? It's Amy here from Amy's Art Alchemy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you have stopped by. On this channel, not only do I share tips, tricks, tutorials, and all things art related, but I also do feature spotlight videos of artists and share sneak peek videos of artist trading cards for our A3 ATC swap group that I host over on Instagram. So if you would like more information about this artist trading card swap group, just head on over to my Instagram. It's called the A3 ATC swap group. I'll be sure and put my link in the description box below. Send me a private message and I will give you all of the details. It's an amazing community to be a part of and I love sharing all of the artist work in our group and offering my support for the amazing artist in our group. So today is December 15th. And if you are in our ATC swap group, you know what that means. Today was the deadline to get your ATCs in for our December ATC swap. And thankfully, when I went out and checked my mailbox, it was full of more artist trading cards. I was so worried that so many of you were not going to make that deadline. Unfortunately, I have to give a deadline. So it's the 15th of every month and I hate giving that deadline, but if I don't do that, then these cards will never get out because it does take me some time to swap them, seeing as how I make sure that nobody receives from the same artist twice. So if I didn't do that, it would go through much faster, but to me, it's important to make sure that you receive a variety and never receive from the same person twice. So that is why I have to give that deadline. So I hope that you guys understand, but so many of you have got your ATCs in. And again, with today being the 15th, my mailbox was full. So I'm excited to bring you guys another final sneak peek for our December ATC swap. This video is part 12, so if you have not seen all of the other parts of the sneak peeks, definitely go back and check it out. We have so many amazing artists in our artist trading card swap group, and I absolutely love being able to bring this positivity out there to your mailboxes, and thank you for you guys for you trusting me to be able to do this. So I'm going to quit talking because I have been talking already way too much, and flip the camera around and give you guys a closer look at our final sneak peek video, part 12. All right, guys, so today is our final sneak peek preview for our December swap. This is part 12. Now, what this means is if you do not see your artist trading cards in this video or any of the previous 11 sneak peek videos, then that means, unfortunately, they did not arrive to me in time to be entered into the December swap. So um, hopefully there's no cards lost in the mail that they are just delayed. Uh, hopefully they all turn up. I know there was some that have sent and they just haven't arrived yet. Please know that I will save your artist trading cards and we will use them for a future swap. They will just be saved in your file. So they will be kept safe. Um, I just got to make sure that they reach me safe. So always keep in mind the mail is just super delayed. Unfortunately, there's the, that's out of my control. But I do have several more artist trading cards to show you. So let's get started with the final sneak peek preview part 12. This first set of cards comes from Florida. These come from Lori Ann Ball and you can find her on Instagram at Stamping Therapy. So Lori Ann Ball Stamping Therapy and she is from Florida. These are made super sturdy so they are withstand the mail really well and I absolutely love them. I love the little Christmas gnomes. I just think they are so cute. I love this one probably the most. I just love her braids and I love the color scheme that you chose, Lori. Super cute cards. This one says Merry Christmas. I think I've loved gnomes ever since the 1980s uh, cartoon TV series, David the Gnome. So I'm sure there's some an, other American friends out there that know what I'm talking about, the David the Gnome. I don't remember how many seasons it was around or how long it was around. I was just a kid, but I loved watching David the Gnome. So I've, I've loved them ever since, but I love these little Christmas gnomes with their little eyes all covered. This one's got one sitting on an ornament, one with candy canes. So how cute are these? Again, Lori Ann Ball from Stamping Therapy, Florida. 
This next set of cards comes from Wisconsin. These come from Jessica, and you can find her on Instagram at jessicaann1201, and she is from Wisconsin. These have a really, really pretty gold metallic in the background, um, really pretty shiny, and then she used, it looks like glitter glue to make some snowflakes. This one has three Christmas trees and then a Christmas tree and snowflakes on the side. So Jessica Ann 1201 from Wisconsin. This next set of cards comes from Michigan and I love these cards so much. These come from Nicole Martin and you can find her on Instagram at ncmartin11. So Nicole Martin NC Martin 11, definitely go check her out. These are just so pretty. So she made little Christmas trees from scrapbook paper. This looks like some handmade paper, some book text. And then she did like a light layer of paint on the background just to kind of mute the colors down a little bit. And it, they just give such a really pretty look to them. She did some twine string along the side and then added a little bead. And each of these is their own unique card. So this one has a really pretty background. This one has some uh, gold trees in the background. Um, and I think she painted those. I don't know if it's scrapbook paper, but I think she painted those trees in the background on this one. And then she did a really light layer of paint just for some extra texture as well. And we've got the string and the bead, little handmade tree. So these are just beautiful. I love, I love how she has the dimensions of the trees. So I just think that is really cute. And I love the texture. So pretty. So definitely go check her out. This one has a, a stencil in the background, circle stencil. And then we got the trees in the background as well. And then I love this one. It has the little A with the beads. And then it's got the really pretty, um, layered trees in the background and on top the book text the handmade paper such beautiful cards these are from nicole martin at nc martin 11 on instagram and she is from michigan this next set of cards comes from california these come from clara rojo and you can find her at c rojo 684 and she is from California. So these are made super sturdy as well. She uh, used a type of cardboard, I believe it's what it looks like, but really, really, really sturdy, really sturdy cards. And she did some sugar schools. So these come from Clara Rojo at C Rojo. 684 from California. This next set comes from Rhode Island. These come from Judy Jeruslo, and you can find her on Instagram at chronic.imperfectionist, which I love that Instagram name. So chronic.imperfectionist, Judy Jeruslo. Really pretty cards. We've got some embossed, um, Stencil design in the background with a stamp on it as well. We got a little pocket corner over here with butterfly, some handmade paper, a little, um, some textiles going on in the corner. So lots going on in these. This one has some burlap in it. Really pretty, really pretty designs in the background. Again, these are from Judy Jeruslo at Chronic Imperfectionist from Rhode Island. And then she used some of the corrugated cardboard, which you guys know how much I love. So I love this one. I love the colors of this one. This one's probably my favorite. Really pretty. And look at this. This one has some embossed um, paper down here at the bottom as well with a little butterfly tucked in. I love the little twine flower up at the top. And Judy, also, thank you for that awesome Alice in Wonderland card. Actually, I have it close by where I can show you guys. Look how pretty this is. So thank you so much, Judy. I love Alice in Wonderland, which everybody knows. And then I love your note on the back. So thank you so much for that. And actually, while I'm talking about it, 
Um, so many people sent me Christmas cards, handmade Christmas cards, store-bought Christmas cards, and I want you guys to know I love and cherish every single one of them. So please know just because I don't have them right beside me to show that I am very, very grateful for everything that everybody sends to me. So I just, I do want you guys to know that. All right, this next set of cards comes from Georgia, and I just think these are awesome these come from mally heart and you can find her on instagram at mally heart art so we have how awesome is this so we have the singer illustration and if you guys don't know who this is first of all they are made nice and sturdy uh she put the lyrics come as you are so if you don't know this is from nirvana so i just think this was so awesome so we have two from nirvana and then how how awesome are these? This one is from American Idiot, which is Green Day. So super cool cards. I love the stars in the background with the music notes. These are just, these are awesome. And, um, oh shoot, I forgot. Um, oh, kiss them for me. Um, I want to say it's, something in the banshees ah. I, th I think i think that's who it is i cannot remember again these are from mally heart art from georgia but how awesome are these i just think this was such a cool idea such a cool idea this next set of cards comes from canada and these are just gorgeous 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 cards these come from sandy and i i'm gonna mess up your last name p-r-o-u-l-x and you can find her on instagram at sandra p-r-o-u-l-x 1500 and she is from canada so you did everything absolutely perfect on the background exactly exactly how it's supposed to be done so thank you for doing that sandy how beautiful are these cards so not only did she make an artist trading card, but each artist trading card will come with its tag, a tag. So um, I need to, I'm probably, Sandy, going to have to take the tag out of this and slide it in with the sleeve so they know who it's from. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to do that just to make sure they are together. But absolutely beautiful cards. I love the feather. I love the feather. Feather stamping in the background i love the black detail i love how you did the paint on this i don't know if it looks looks like maybe it was some jelly printing and then she did use your wings and then it comes with the christmas tag feathers appear when angels are near how pretty is that just beautiful cards and this one will come with this tag christmas tag Just beautiful feather die cuts. And then she added some little glue, glitter glue at the bottom or rhinestones at the bottom, some light stenciling in the background, and then these beautiful Christmas tags as well. Okay, actually, this one has something on the back. Stamped impressions, greeting cards, handmade with creativity and care and beautiful pit meadow species, which is Canada. I love this one too. Look at that, so pretty so pretty and then again tag and then these two really pretty cards sandy and then she um made me a little gift as well so thank you so much this was this was definitely definitely not necessary i i do appreciate you so much for for thinking of me and for doing that i just i love it so much very very kind of you so thank you so much for that this next set of cards comes from California. These come from K Rojo. And you're probably thinking, didn't you already have a Rojo that was her mom? So these come from um, on Instagram, Un Verde Azul, and she is from California. So she just made these beautiful cards. Um, I just noticed this. It looks like she repurposed a Kleenex box. So I love how you repurposed that. And they are made nice and sturdy as well. Okay, so let's look at these. 
we got this beautiful Christmas tree. I love how she did the little yarn going around it like tinsel. She's got the music note paper in the background and presents. All of her information is on the back. She's got the Christmas trees, a really pretty Christmas tree scene. Um, snowy skies, beautiful. Now that I'm looking at this, I it looks like she may have created these with her mom. So this is the artist that sent them to me, Un Verde Azul, and this is her mom. And I'm not sure who this is. I'm assuming maybe another family member. So awesome. That was kind of you to put authors on there. And then I love this one. I love the little car carrying the Christmas tree. We got some Christmas trees in the background. How cute is this little Volkswagen Beetle? Okay, this one just has, has her name on there. So super cute. And then another adorable Christmas tree. And then we got another snowy Christmas tree scene, which I just think these are so pretty. And then another awesome Volkswagen carrying the Christmas tree. So I love these. This is so awesome. So Transport is the title of this one. So really cool. These come from K Rojo at Un Verde Azul from California. This next set comes from a new artist to our group from Ohio. These come from Ganelle Rainey, and you can find her on Instagram at Rain Studio. So Rain Studio, and she is from Ohio. These are just so pretty. So it has 2021 stamped up here at the top. There we go, I think the light's picking it up now. So really pretty gold metallic. And then we've got, um, it looks like some handmade papers, maybe some hand, uh, tissue paper in the background. It also looks like there's a map in the background, some really pretty gold stamping on there as well. So really pretty cards, a lot of texture in them. And then they all have the 2021. This one has some music note paper in the background. This one has a map in the background. So again, um, these are from Ganelle Rainey at Rain Studio from Ohio. So go welcome her to our group. Another new artist to our group is Dana Foland. Dana is joining us from Indiana. And you can find her on Instagram at Gypsy Corner 0502. And her name is Dana Foland. I knew it was on there. And she did these adorable snowmen. How cute are these? I love the color palette of them, and I just love their designs and their little their little toboggans. I mean, how cute are these, Dana? You did such a beautiful job. Such a beautiful job. It's got some snowflakes in the background. And then here's these as well. And also, thank you for the ones that you sent me, the gift that you sent me. That was, that was very, very kind of you, and I definitely was not expecting that. Thank you so much. So much for that. We're glad to have you. I just think these little snowmen are awesome. Uh, next up we have oh my cards. Uh, I've showed these on Instagram, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show them on the sneak peek just, just because it's, it's part of it. So these are the ones I created. Um, Amy's Art Alchemy, you guys know that. These are from the 1983 American Christmas comedy film, A Christmas Story. And when I made these, I didn't even think about my international friends not knowing this movie. And I knew it was an American classic. I just, it didn't dawn on me that a lot of my international friends did not recognize this movie. So when I posted these on Instagram, um, several of my friends were like, yep, nope, never heard of it. <laughs> then there was a couple from Canada who have heard of it. So, <laughs> so I will make sure these go to people, obviously, who, who know the movie because, um, it, there, you get more out of it when you know the movie. It's kind of funny. So this one is Ralphie when he, um, it says, oh, fudge, because in the movie, he's like, only I didn't say fudge. So he was helping his dad change a tire and the bolts flew everywhere. And then he said that word. So his mom stuck soap in his mouth. And for you American friends that have seen this, I, I'm just relaying, kind of making sure people know what this is about because 
If you if you don't know the movie, you probably think that is just some kind of weird tongue sticking out of his mouth. So that's actually a bar of soap. His mom stuck a bar of soap in his mouth. And this is Ralphie. His mom sent, um, his aunt sent him this bunny costume. And then when he comes down the stairs on Christmas morning, he, his mom makes him go put this bunny suit on. And the dad says, he looks like a deranged Easter bunny. So that's, that's where I got this one. And then this one was inspired. The dad wins a major award is what he calls it. And the box comes in in this big wood box. I get excited because I love this movie. It comes in this big wood box and it says fragile on the side. And he's expecting it to be something fancy. So he says, fragile. It must be Italian. <laughs> so, and it ended up being this leg lamp, which the mother hated. Of course, the little boy just loved because, I mean, come on, it's a, a female leg lamp. So that's where that one came from. And this one is Ralphie's little brother, Randy. His mom bundled him up so tight before going outside to school on the snowy day that he, he literally is walking around and he's like, I can't put my arms down. <laughs> so super cute. And this one has um, the all the kids are at school on this snowy day. <laughs> and this little boy, uh, Schwartz was his name. He was dared to do... Uh, stick his tongue to a pole and it's called triple dog dare which is the coupe de grace of all dares the sinister triple dog dare so I wrote all that because the narrator in the story in the movie says that so I just thought that was funny but anyway Schwartz sticks his tongue to the pole and it's funny when I posted these there is actually a lot of people that have done this, which I find hilarious. I myself have not, but I just find it so funny. So these are the cards that I did for the December swap because I just love the movie, A Christmas Story. I just did these on watercolor paper and then just um, watercolor and Sharpie. And these next set of cards comes from Missouri. I'm sorry that was long. I just felt like I owed my international friends a little bit of description to the cards just because it, it just looks random if you don't know the meaning behind behind the cards in the movie. But anyway, these come from Cassie Pearson at Cassifras85. And I just think these are too cool. We've got um, some music note paper in the background, and then we also have the title of another music song um, song on the back. It says, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, and then she added some different papers and Christmas tree, really pretty cards. This one is the first Noel, and then she put Merry Christmas at the bottom. Really pretty colors, lots of texture in these. And then I like that she repurposed playing cards. So here she's got all of her information on the back. Cassie Pearson, she's from Missouri. And you can find her at Cassifras85. But I love that she repurposed playing cards. Not all playing cards are ATC size, but um, most of them are pretty, pretty darn close. So I like how she repurposed that. This one is Joy to the World. I was peeling up a little bit. I'm just trying to push that down. I don't want it to get damaged before they get mailed. And then we've got the little Christmas bell and music note paper in the background. This one is What Child Is This? Which I love all of these songs. So pretty. Silent Night, Oh Holy Night, which will be one of my all-time favorites. And A Little Town of Bethlehem. So really pretty cards. These arrived just in time, Cassie. These arrived literally... Um, on, on deadline day, so I'm glad that they made it here on time. This is the final set for December. These come from another new artist to our A3 ATC swap group. She is from the Netherlands, Betty Vandegrind, and you can find her on Instagram at Bertie Bo, so B-E-R-T-I-E-B-O. And then she's got, um, yep, her name is right there in Netherlands. So she's got all of her information on there. Cute stamp. And she is new to our group. So welcome her to the group. So pretty. I love, I love these. This one says, be a good pilot. Um, this one has the postcard in the background, the airmail stamp. 
This one says dream just for you. I mean, just how pretty are these with the dove? This one has a Netherlands stamp, which I just love this stamp, but I also love this green with this blue. I'm just, I'm obsessed with color palettes, obviously, like, like a lot of artists are. So anytime I see certain colors together, I'm like, oh, that's pretty. So this cream color with this dark navy and green is really pretty. And then it's got this really pretty text paper in there as well. And then this one, which looks like it may be um, some watercolor on the background maybe, um, or maybe it was a jelly print, and then we've got some stenciling on there with the little dove as well. So how pretty are these? So these are from Betty Vandegrein from Netherlands, and you can find her at Birdie Bow. So welcome her to the group, and that is our last set of artist trading cards to go into the December swap. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave a comment. Let me know um, what you like about these cards. If you enjoy these type of videos, I would love to hear from you guys. I do read them sometimes. I can't respond right away, but I do read them. So I appreciate you leaving the feedback. And thank you all so much for being here and for your participation. I'm going to do my best to get these cards swapped and sent out before Christmas. If it does not happen before Christmas, it will be shortly after because I do want to enjoy the holidays with my family as well. But I have been working like crazy trying to do as much preparation in advance as I can so I can get these cards out to you in a timely manner. I would also like to take this opportunity to say, if you are not sending in a certain month, please, please do me a favor and message me and let me know because I try to prepare in advance for cases like this, the holidays, or if my kids are going to be home or my husband's taking some time off, I try to prepare in advance. So if I prepare an envelope with your name on it and then you just decide not to send that month, then that's, that's just kind of way. So, so I can do my time wisely. I would just appreciate it if you guys would message me if there is a month that you need to skip. I, un I totally understand life happens. So it's, it's okay. This is meant to be fun and stress-free. So if you can't send, that is okay. Just please, please message me. Um, I have several artists that I haven't heard from in months. So I'm fixing to have to start updating my list because um, I'm either to the point of removing the artist that I never hear from and or closing the group. And I would love to keep the group open to artists who want to still participate uh, or would like to join versus artists that who, who I just don't hear from in months, but their name is on the list. So um, just, just as a courtesy, if you just send me a quick message, it doesn't have to be long. I don't even need a reason. Just say I can't send this month. Perfectly fine. I would greatly appreciate it. So I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and I'm going to get started and uploading this video and get started on the swap. So thank you all so much. I, I just love this. I love this time of year and I just love sending positive, happy things to your mailboxes each time. So I am looking forward to our second year of the A3 ATC swap group. This has been such a highlight of 2020 for so many reasons. And all the friendships have just been such a blessing. And I love seeing the friendships build amongst the group, amongst the artist in our group. So I just, it just brings me so much joy that I get to see you all happy and enjoying this as well. So thank you so much for your participation and I'm going to get started swapping these artist trading cards. Next time you see a video from me, it will be coming on telling you guys that they are all mailed out. So hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and we will talk to you later. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.